to your Wednesday. Tonight, today, whatever time it is at your house, I have a fun activity. You see, this morning there was a lunar eclipse, and tonight there's a full moon. And you know something else? Kiddos love learning songs about outer space. It's pretty much as popular as dinosaurs. So today I'm going to teach you a fun poem that you can use with your little astronauts. Now, the members of the circle got a couple of songs that they'll be able to add to their outer space uh, circle time lesson plans this month in their pack of activities. But today I wanted to make sure you didn't miss out in case you are not a member of the circle. So this activity is called Five Little Rockets. Now I have included um, your little sample, so you'll be able to have this in um, your uh, portfolio, your your repertoire of songs, all you'll need to do is click in this link and um, it should be right there in this post and you'll be able to download the lyrics to this poem and the five rocket ship printables that I'm going to be using today. Now, for some reason, I cannot figure out how to see all of the comments. So um, that means I don't get to know what you're saying. So we'll, we'll see. If you have any questions throughout our time as I talk about this activity, feel free to just drop it in the comments and I'll always go back. This thing is always, oh, I found it. I found it. So if you're here watching and you want to tell me, hey, Jocelyn, hello, then it's always fun. So drop your name. Tell me where you're watching from over in the comments. So, Five Little Rockets is a cute little counting poem. And when you get the principle, you'll see that there'll be five rockets. Oh, what do you think of that? Five rockets. But what I've had, um, I'm having kiddos do is actually cut out the five rockets themselves. Because one of the most important things about counting is really holding something in their hands as they understand it. So as I do this poem, think, whoa, what if all the kids had five little rockets in front of themselves and they could actually be moving them to the side as we sing through it. Hello, Natasha. And while we're doing it, Again, think about that, but also the fine motor skills that will go into cutting those little rocket ships out and the ownership that they're going to feel. So my sister, oh, Katie, what do you say? Perfect. Thanks, Jocelyn. I'm doing that with book. Good night, Spaceman. Awesome. Okay. Well, then you'll, this will be a perfect little activity to add to it. Um, but I was going to say, it's just so important for them um, to have something that's their own. So my sister's been attending my virtual music classes, and we've been doing a whole month of outer space. Of course, we've been doing Lori Berkner's Rocket Ship Run. We've been um, doing the um, planet rhythm game where we um, clap the rhythm of all the planets. Everybody seems to know the planet names now, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and all the way up. But um, the kids have loved cutting things out and then actually having them. So back to my sister's class, they love having these uh, printables that they can do on their own. So once you get them to really learn the song then or the poem in this instance today, then they can take those little printables that they've done for themselves and say it, sing it, whatever they want. So. Again, click that little comment uh, in the comments. You'll be able to click that and you'll just um, be able to download the lyrics, the words to this activity, and then those rocket chips. You ready to see my rocket chips? All right, here they are. Now, here's what's kind of cool. I am actually on a trip right now, which is why I have the background. I'm at my parents' house. I don't have my usual background. And I am making do with everything that I have on the road. And one of the things that I don't have is laminating. <laughs> any way to laminate. So these rocket ships are not laminated, but I still made room to bring my flannel board. But I will say if you're teaching virtually, um, not having them laminated is kind of nice because I do notice, see on the back I've got a laminated activity, but um, you know, sometimes if the light catches it right, you can't see it as well. So I'm, I'm really liking that I don't have them laminated. They're not gonna last as long, but still just as fun with my little board here. So this is what you'll get. They'll cut out five little rocket ships. You can do it yourself. Just cut out five, laminate them, and get them ready for you, or you can then have the kids do it. So 
Another thing we're going to be doing is, of course, counting backwards from five. Now, fine motor skills are going to be flourishing everywhere. So from cutting out these rocket ships to counting backwards, notice that some of your kids in your class are really going to struggle as they as they bring those numbers down as we count down uh, with our rocket ships. But wonderful. It's okay if they're struggling to figure out that because they're working those muscles, but they don't have any idea that they're doing it. And that's what we want is we want to sneak in the learning through this playing, playing way. So we've got the five rocket ships. I'm going to say the poem and um, just notice some of the things I do with it. It goes like this. Five little rockets ready to zoom. This one says there's not enough room. It starts its engine ready to fly, looks at the others, and waves goodbye. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Now what I failed to have you guys do is, um, and I do this with the kids, is we always count how many we have, and then I'll do two things. I'll ask, how many do we have? And then I'll wait because I want to think that in my classroom, I've got all sorts of learners. I've got learners that are high who have no problem telling me quickly how many. I have other learners who are going to need me to count with them. Um, so if you give a little bit of opportunity for all of those kids to pop in there, it really does help. All right, so let's count them now. Here we go. One, two, three, Four. And notice I'm raising my fingers, and so by the end I have four. Sometimes people used to say, oh, I don't like it, you know, I don't think kids should use their fingers to count. But there's also people that say, why not? It's a calculator that is always there. And the other nice piece about it, it's just perfect manipulation. So we're manipulating these spaceships, but we always have our fingers to manipulate too. All right, here we go. Let's go with four. And keep that beat on the legs as we say the poem. Four little rockets ready to zoom. This one says there's not enough. And then as they get to know the poem, I'm going to leave that word out because I want them to say room. It starts its engine ready to fly, looks at the others and waves goodbye. And now our hands up because we waved and it's right in perfect position for five, four, three, two, one, blast off. So we go all the way down. We do the same poem for the three, the two. We take them down. And then the last one is just a little bit different. So I'll just do this line with you. One little rocket left on the ground. This one said there's no one around. It starts its engine ready to fly. It looks at us and waves goodbye. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Okay, that is five little rockets. But what I want you to recognize, and I'm going to say this every time I possibly can, is how we can teach a concept. One-to-one -one correspondence, counting backwards, fine motor skills, rhyming, vocabulary, working together, listening skills, but we're actively engaged in the learning experience. It doesn't have to happen at a worksheet. And the way that I've presented this allows children of all learning abilities to be able to find their door into that learning experience. So think, when you do activities, am I giving opportunities for all learning styles to come in? Visual, auditory, kinesthetic, tactile. Every time you teach an activity, challenge yourself to make sure it's actively engaging so that your kiddos are not just sitting, watching, and learning. So have fun with Five Little Rockets. Make sure to download the activity for free and um, try it out with your kids and let me know. Katie, you've got some fun ahead of you and this could hopefully be a nice little addition. Don't worry, if you don't have time to uh, make the Five Little Rockets or feel like you, know, you don't have time for the kids to cut out all of them, you've got Five Little Rockets anywhere you go. So just grab those little rockets, pull them out of your pocket and away you go. All right, well, enjoy that full moon if you're able to see it. I'm not so sure if the clouds are gonna break for us here in Montana. So I hope that you have a great night. And if you have any questions about five little rockets or anything else, feel free to drop me a line. Have a great day.